hello to all my friends and subscribers out there. Another showcase and review here, and I'm following up after doing the Wave 4 review with uh, Star Wars The Vintage Collection Wave 5 review. And um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to the last uh, Wave 4 video. Got a good feedback, so I decided to do Wave 5. And uh, I promised everybody at the end that I would do it, so here it is. Um, I want to let everybody know right now that uh, I'm going to first focus on a couple figures that were launched, one variant and one figure that was pushed back that was launched. I've actually done a video on um, this figure here, but it's none other than Yoda who fits in at VC-20 in Wave 2 Revenge of the Sith. Um, Yoda was uh, originally scheduled to have a different card back. Um, but uh, I guess they decided that this version is more representative of the Revenge of the Sith. So they went ahead and pushed it back and released it along with Wave 5. But it is considered part of Wave 2 with the VC-20 number. It fits in to um, the Waves uh, 2 with its number. So here's a good shot of Yoda up and down. I said, As I said, I did a review on this guy. Um, he is a great, a great figure. A lot of great, good feedback on him, and uh, I think he's a popular figure from this wave. He's got the uh, lightsaber there to the right, the cane down below, force lightning, the soft goods cape is always a plus. I really like that touch that they added. Uh, reminds me a lot of the vintage version. The only thing I wish they would have added the orange snake, but maybe we'll get a version with the orange snake. Who knows? Um, as we go to the back, the same thing as always on all the vintage collections. Uh, card backs. It sh shows the original Yoda card from 05 to 06 from the Revenge of the Sith wave. Um, and that was when he had a firing cannon, so I'm guessing that's where the Saga Legends got the firing cannon version. Down here we got Wicket, Rebel Commander, or Rebel Commando, Luke Skywalker, actually with his Endor Captive card back. Um, that's interesting. Uh, Wolf and R2D2. So, I wonder if they will make uh, Yoda with his representative representation of his first card back if I can find it here I may have a no I don't off of uh, offhand here but um they do have a representation of a different card back of Yoda and he was supposed to be released along with wave three and he never was so here's Yoda um actually was supposed to be released with wave two but never was so there's Yoda for you which uh, I'm gonna add to this review just because he was released um, when Wave 5 came out. Next we have the Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight outfit um, variant of Luke Skywalker Endor Capture. Um, so the Endor Capture is the same exact figure as you can see uh, as the Jedi Knight figure it comes with the handcuffs, the unignited lightsaber, the green lightsaber, the same pose and everything, the green, same green background, but the card back is um, resembling what the figure actually is, uh, the scene that the figure is actually representing other than the Jabba's throne scene because uh, he was put in handcuffs, took in as an indoor captive, and that was the scene whenever he ended up going on to fight Darth Vader um, in the Death Star, when he was taken aboard the Death Star. And here he is being captured with his cuffs on, so give you a nice little shot. And here he is uh, giving Luke, uh, taking the lightsaber, uh, Darth, Hol Darth holding the lightsaber anyway. It says the same thing on the right. This number is VC-23. Um, and he is the same exact number as this card back. So it's very cool to see the comparison. And this one they have a live action shot. And this one they have the Luke Skywalker card from 83 to 85 that he was re, um, supposedly supposed to be resembling in the Jedi Knight outfit. But I guess they originally made the mistake and they made the correction. And that's very cool. I am a fan of the variants. Um, down here we have other figures. Um, Wicket. We have Yoda with his actual Revenge of the Sith card back now. And uh, yeah, there we go right there. On the on the back of the Jedi Knight, it shows Yoda um, with a Return of the Jedi card back, supposedly. But that does show his old school figure with the snake. But see, they decided to change it up. So there's another thing there, as you can see. They did add that when they did the variant figure. So the Jedi Knight came out with Wave 3. 
and then they did the Endor capture later. So it says Luke Skywalker, Return of the Jedi, 1983. Very neat to have the variant. Um, and I think that'll do it for old uh, Endor capture Luke. I'll put Yoda back here too. And now on to the um, official wave, which um, left off with the super battle droid at uh, wave 4 and ended up starting out with wave 5 now and the first figure that they show off in the wave that I'm showing off in the wave is number as you can see there VC38 and it's none other than clone trooper uh, 212th battalion clone trooper and as you know, uh, the 212th Battalion was commanded by Commander Cody, so he fits right along with Commander Cody. Good up and down shot here of the Clone Trooper, which I think is a fantastic looking figure. Um, and you can tell the, by the color scheme that he's definitely a Clone Trooper. He's got his blaster rifle in the back, blaster um, pistol type rifle in his hand. Um, I'm pretty sure his helmet is removable out of the case. Um, great picture of um, the uh, 212th Battalion Clone Trooper here from the movie Revenge of the Sith. The blue Clone Trooper 212th Battalion stamp and a blue background. Um, and I think this is right before Order 66 right here was issued. And for, in comparison, for a comparison, since uh, everybody thinks that he you know, looks so much like Clone Commander Cody, why pick him up? But as you can see, they are different. Here's Clone Commander Cody, and as you can see, he has different markings on the armor, and I thought it'd be neat to show a comparison of these two guys. He actually is the commander, and this is um, one of his soldiers, which would be a 212th Battalion Clone Trooper. Um, and then you also have just a regular Clone Trooper, and he goes very neat alongside them, too. So, don't be confused with the Clone Trooper and Clone Commander Cody, this is a different figure. And uh, the card backs even kind of look similar on these, if you ask me if they're just hanging there, so you really got to pay attention to um, see which figure it is here, because from a distance hanging they do look a lot alike. But very glad to have these two. Um, Clone Commander Cody there, but the uh, 212th Battalion Clone Trooper of Wave 5. On the back you have his original Clone Trooper card, from 06 to 07 from the Star Wars Saga collection. Um, very neat. Same thing up to the right. Clone Trooper up to the left. His number up to the right. Down low we have R5D4, Luke Skywalker, Commander Gree, the Stormtrooper and Han from the line. And there you have it for the Clone Trooper, 212th Battalion. And we'll get the uh, comparison figures here out of the way here. So, I wanted to show the comparisons just uh, to avoid the confusion, and just for the comparison, and I think it's cool. On to VC-39 is not another, another figure that I showed already, is the Death Star Escape Luke, which seems to be a very popular figure, noting that he is actually um, on the original Star Wars back, and that is what he wore mainly in the original Star Wars. I was noted that he did wear a Stormtrooper outfit in Episode episode 4, A New Hope. Um, so, to correct myself, he did not wear this throughout the entire movie. But there he has his rope there that he swung with Leia across. His blaster pistol and the unignited lightsaber. I think that's what that is there. And as you can see, the picture on the back from A New Hope. They decided to go with a lot of live action scenes on this instead of cards. Card backs. R5-D4, Clone Trooper, Commander Gree, Stormtrooper, and Han Solo from the line. But very neat figure. He does have the orange stamp and the uh, orange back. And a nice close-up shot here up and down of um, Luke before I go on. Nice side shot. Good figure right there. I like that one a lot. Um, next figure in the line, I kind of have a personal fa favoritism towards this figure because I love the droids, and it's none other than R5-D4, and he has an interesting background. If you look it up on Wiki Wikipedia, I'm not going to get totally into it, 
but R5D4, actually he refers to him as an R2 unit in the movie, and uh, the Jawas actually sold this to Owen Lars and um, Luke on Tatooine in um, episode one, and if you remember, this is the droid that shoots craps right after he gets it, and there's the scene depicting it, and then it, they would end up giving R2 as a, um, you know, to just keep him off their back for selling him a bad droid, and uh, this is a reproduction of the um, build-a-droid figure that they made of R5-D4, I did know, you know, you got the Kenner stamp here, as always, down to the right. But I love the picture on there of him checking out the R5-D4 unit. And I think that's after he blew his lid. Our shot craps. Malfunctioned. Um, and I did read a backstory that he actually malfunctioned on his own so R2 and C-3PO could stay together. So there's an interesting fact. Here's a nice up-down shot of R5-D4. And I was very happy to obtain him from the line. He has a red background, red stamp. And I did no, no, also read that they actually spell out R5-D4 and had this under it as a variant on the stamp as well back then when he was released, I think, a second time. So maybe we'll get a card back with him spelt out, just like they did on the C-3PO figure. Um, I'm still wanting to get Wave 3. I only have the Jedi Knight Luke from Wave 3, but I want an R2-D2 because he would go great alongside of R5-D4, especially if he blew his lid just to, uh, um, he, he self-circuited -circ himself just so R2 and C-3PO could stay together. I mean, how lovely is that? Um, on the back, Luke Skywalker, Clone Trooper, Co Commander Grease, Stormtrooper, Han Solo from the line, the original R5-D4 card from 78 to 80, and as you can see there, he was quite different looking. Um, R5-D4 does have a very nice, uh, or similar look to R2-D2, if you were to see him. Um, they do, for, Luke referred to him as R2, so they don't know if he was a, like, originator of the R2 units, because they, they do say he is an R5 unit, as we all know, but they don't know if that was a mistake by Luke or what, so yeah, check that out. R5-D4 up to the left, the Vintage Collection stamp, he is, uh, VC-40. And that's pretty much it for uh, old R5-D4. On to the next figure in the line. I'm rushing along here because we have three more figures left. And I'm trying to get it within the time frame of uh, one, one part because I hate doing two part videos. Stormtrooper is the next uh, figure from the line. And he has VC-41 as you can see. And I did manage to get, like, all these unstant, unpunched, and they were just, you know, laying out unpunched. Um, I don't know why, but I guess I got there so I got there in, right, in, right on time. You can see a nice picture of the actual Stormtrooper to the right. Stormtroopers are one of the most popular and cooler looking figures from the Star Wars uh, saga. Um, from the originals especially. A lot of, a lot of people... Um, like stormtroopers, so I'm very glad that they actually made a stormtrooper figure. Um, Empire Strikes Back on the card, and as um, and that reminds me that now that I am uh, mentioning that all these card backs are different, or now that I'm thinking about it, all, all these card backs are different because this is uh, the start of the mixed waves where they're just throwing all different kinds of episodes instead of focusing on an episode like they did in Wave 4 or they did in Wave 3 with Return of the Jedi, Attack of the Clones, um, Wave 4, and then they did Wave 2, Revenge of the Sith, and Wave 1 was Empire that Strikes Back mainly. So this is just the mixed waves. So uh, very neat to get these other figures from those episodes um, that we were lacking. And uh, the mixed waves continue. So check out the videos for Wave 6 if you haven't already. Um, Stormtrooper back, back of the card. Original card from 80 to 82. Um, I remember having this figure when I was a kid. Um, R5-D4, the Clone Trooper, 212th Battalion, Commander Gree, Luke, and Han on the back. And uh, as you can see, the card back identical to that of the 80, 80, 80 to 82 card. And I like the Stormtrooper figure a lot. He does come with this uh, blaster in the right and a blaster pistol or a rifle in the back and a pistol in his hand. Very nice figure. Once again, hard to tell apart 
So you got to really pay attention um, if you're looking for this guy because you may pass him up thinking he is one of the clone troopers or um, a sand trooper or a. Uh, you could even you know confuse him for any of the troopers. So next in the line, number VC42, and we're getting close here. It's Han Solo in his Yavin ceremony um, outfit, and um, I have showed a complete video of him already, along with Death Star Escape Luke. You can see he comes with this patented blaster pistol, which you could make a great scene of him and uh, Greedo with this figure. The scene with him and Greedo from the um, bar scene. Han Solo, Yavin Ceremony in green. The uh, nice depiction of the uh, Yavin Ceremony going on when they got their medals. Um, on the back, another picture of uh, him walking alongside Chewie, get, going up to get the medals. Um, from A New Hope in 1977. Kind of cool how they put uh, live action scenes on these. Down low, you got R5D4, the Clone Trooper, Commander Gree, Stormtrooper, and Luke Skywalker from the line. And yeah, I said I've done a re complete review talking about this one, so check that out if you haven't. But there's on Solo. And last from Wave 5 is none other than what I think is one of the cooler figures, Commander Gree. Commander Gree actually um, was cloned. Um, in his human form, a clone of Boba Fett, I read on Wikipedia, so if I'm wrong, correct me, but uh, I did read that. Um, he was put in charge to command a um, one of the clone armies, um, just like Commander Cody. So, um, he was actually ended up being killed by uh, Yoda in, uh, when Order 66 took place, after he was... Um, he escorted Yoda into Kashyyyk. So, very nice figure, Commander Green Green, and it fits his um, camo-like outfit, which is what I really like about this guy. Nice picture of Green to the right. I've heard a lot of people wanted this figure. 2005 to 06 card of Commander Green, the original on the back there. Same thing as always, Commander Green to the left with the vintage stamp. Down low you had R5, D4, Clone Trooper, Luke, Stormtrooper, and Han. And uh, yeah, that pretty much does it for Wave 5. Um, as you can see, Commander Green, great figure. Um, so I want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching. And once again, I'll give a lineup of this. But I want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching and subscribing while I'm doing this. And... Um, much more videos, many more videos to come, uh, showcases and reviews. Um, I have some figures coming from eBay that ever, you might be interested in if you're watching this, so be on the lookout. And uh, as you can see there, just for one more time, Yoda, Luke, the Clone Trooper, the other Luke, R5, Stormtrooper, um, Han, Commander Gree. So, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody, and I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, the uh, showcase and review on Way 5. Peace.